Soul Calibur 6. In a remote corner of lands to the east, there is a village of wind worshippers who live in harmony with nature. Talon was born into a family of shamans and raised as the last priestess of the winds amid the encroaching western civilization that threatened their way of life. Due to her great sensitivity to the spirit world, Talon was heavily affected by the evil seed and nearly died. As time passed, Westerners began to visit her village, and one happened to bring with him a certain metal shard. The elders who saw this vitality charm instantly realized it was dangerous, for it was a shard of the cursed sword, Soul Edge. Such an evil aura. This must have come from beyond the currents of the winds. It is far from where it belongs. It could end up influencing those nearby, altering their destinies. Long ago, I sensed an aura just like this one. Oh? And I have a feeling that this shard isn't the only one that's fallen away from where it belongs. It must be returned to its rightful place. Mm, I agree with you, but... I sense it belongs in a faraway place. Please, let me take it there. No. You're the last priestess of the winds, and the world is in chaos. If you were to leave this island and lose your purity, there would be no one left to praise the winds. But... Perhaps her journey could bring her closer to nature and amplify her purity as a priestess. Don't you think that's just as possible? Father... I agree with my husband. Sanput, Liddy, your opinions are not without merit. Still, I find myself hesitating. Eldest one, will you not give Talim permission to leave? Hmm... Elder Kalana. Talon, think about what your name truly means. She's gone. Hmm, I see. Talon, you'll have to wait a bit longer until you get official permission. Okay. The eldest one is not as sharp as she once was, you know. Oh, listen to the pot call the kettle black. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Indeed. Once you've finished your sword practice, you should hike to the mountaintop. Great idea! Now, let's review your lesson once more. Are you ready, Talon? Yes! That's enough for today. 
<sighs> Thank you so much for your help. Tell him. Is tell him here? Yes. Unfortunately, we have a problem. The amulet. I can't find it anywhere. What? Not even my divination techniques can locate it. Did you happen to sense anything? Now that you mention it, I can't sense it anywhere. Where could it have gone? I doubt this is simply some mischievous trick. Hmm. Perhaps a foreigner carried it off. Perhaps we should be thankful it's gone now. No, there's no telling what evils it may brew in the future. We can't relax until it's returned to its rightful place. However... Huh? Don't worry, everyone. I'll find it. Oh, truly? Talim's determined. We don't need to worry. Thank you for making the long trek. Welcome, last priestess of the winds. I am Talim. I've come from the village of the Wind Deity. I've come today to request that you teach me the techniques of Mountain Mackling. Relax your body. Once you're finished practicing, I'll make some delicious tea for you. who is as beloved by the spirits as you. <laughs> Looks like I don't have anything to teach you at all. Thank you very much. Now, about the, um... Oh, the amulet? If it really is as powerful as you say, I'm sure you'll find it in no time. You have great sensitivity to the spirit world after all. I don't think you'll have too hard a time. Nothing. Thank you so much for your help.
Were the demons getting restless because of that amulet? No, I think they're just agitated by all the foreigners around these days. Hey, can the foreigners see the demons too? No, creatures of the spirit world can only be seen by those who are pure. Wow! Huh. Come on, let's go! Each night, it's more ill deeds. We're at wit's end. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. They've seemed especially violent as of late. Travelers have reported attacks. Be careful. I will. They're good at disguising themselves as humans. The thought of them transforming into one of us is terrifying. Please don't worry yourself too much. Priestesses have the ability to see through disguises. Everything will be fine. For now. I knew we could count on a priestess from the village of the Wind Deity. Thank you very much. I'm sorry that there's no way for us to repay you. We've no idea where the amulet is. <sighs> it's okay. I'm just glad I could help. Now, if you'll excuse me. She's so grown up for her age. That she is. Eldest one? Oh, Talim? Yes, it's me. 
What a fine breeze. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Grandma, don't you think it's about time? Everyone seems really nervous, and I think I've proven myself to the village. When did you notice? When the amulet went missing. I mean, you're the only one who could hide something so powerful from everyone. Such a clever child. Talim, I knew you already were powerful enough. But that wouldn't be enough to convince the rest. Therefore... I know. I'm sorry for testing you. It's okay. My name means Sharp Blade. Even the last priestess has to face danger sometimes in order to survive. It sounds a bit perilous, but I like my name. Talim. Go. You've earned the right to. You're the only one who can right such a wrong and return the Shard to its proper place. But you must promise you'll return. I know. I promise. <sighs> such a nice breeze. As long as I have the wind, I won't feel lonely no matter where I may go. Grandma, fellow villagers, see you soon. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.